Hey, it's Travel Jiggler and here's a review of our recent trip to the Crocodile Bridge and Lower Sabi section of the Kluge National Park. The drive from Joburg to Crocodile Bridge is about 5 hours and it's quite scenic along the way so it's quite a nice drive, especially in anticipation of getting to the park. We stayed in Gwenya Lodge, which is about a 10 minute drive from the Crocodile Bridge Gate. For more on that, check out my quick review of Gwenya Lodge. One of the things that we really like about the southern part of the Kruger Park is the diversity of habitat. This portion of the park has a really tropical savanna feel to it, it's nice and warm. There are a couple of significant rivers being the Crocodile River and the Subby River as well, and there are also a number of smaller rivers within the park itself. means you get quite an array of wildlife because there are quite a few habitats that you can go and view. The Kruger is the most well-known park in South Africa and also the most extensive. If you're looking to see the big five then the Kruger is definitely the place to go although there is a massive diversity of other species of wildlife to see as well. In addition to the cats, herbivores and reptiles there's also a great diversity of bird species. So important tips for driving in the Kruger National Park and any other national park for that matter. Firstly, it's really important to obey the speed limits. You have no control over the wildlife and when they're going to step into the road or run across the road and that can be dangerous for both yourself and the wildlife in the park. Most drivers in the park are really courteous and everyone's there as a nature lover and so generally driver courtesy is a big thing and you should make sure that you are doing your part. So if you stop to see some wildlife, try to pull off onto the side of the road as far as you can so that people that do not want to see what you are looking at can drive past. There are sightings boards at the main gates and at some of the bigger areas in the park. However, the best way to keep track of what's going on is to use the latest sightings app. So people upload stuff onto the app when they've seen it and you can do likewise and that just makes your visit a little bit nicer because you can quickly go to the areas where you want to see the wildlife that you're looking to see. But most importantly, take your time. There's so much to see. There's such a diversity of animals and it's really great to go out there and appreciate all the wildlife. As far as the roads go, the main arteries are all tarred, but there are a lot of gravel or unpaved roads that are intersecting between those roads and you'll see quite a lot of wildlife on those roads too. So a lot of those roads are really good. You don't need a 4x4 or high clearance vehicle. You can do a lot of them with a normal city sedan. However, it can get a bit bumpy and corrugated from time to time. So here's a couple of tips if you're visiting the Crocodile Bridge area, Lower Sabi area and the Malalan area which is the southern section of the Kruger National Park. Take note of the gate opening and closing times for the Kruger Park so in the summer time it's from 5.30 in the morning to 6.30 in the evening whereas in the winter time it is from 6 in the morning to 5.30 in the evening. There's also a shop with basic amenities as well as some ablutions and so on right next to the garage right by the Crocodile Bridge gate. I would definitely recommend that if you want to sit and have a nice meal that you do it at Lower Sabi, there's a nice restaurant there and it's all overlooking the river. So quite a bit of wildlife and it's a really nice scenic place to sit and just enjoy your lunch and relax. We really enjoy the Kruger National Park and we are looking forward to reach our next trip which is up into the northern areas. So that's going to be really great and we'll do an episode of that so look out for that in the future. Hope you enjoyed this quick episode. If it was informative, please hit the like button. Also subscribe and check out some of my other stuff on other adventures in Southern Africa. Until the next episode, go everywhere, see everything, have a great time.